And at first you want to say, oh, excited and everything, but it's just normal. That's the way we're supposed to live life, not, not in, in servitude. Yes. What I would have dreams. My mother didn't like this. They were strange dreams. I don't remember what they were at all. She had me hypnotized, so I would not remember my dreams. And the year it took me several, I recently, the last couple of years, I've been able to dream. But we are programmed when we grow up not to believe these things. And it's the brain consciousness. Brain. It buys into it. And it, it's not. Anybody out there's fault, it's our own for buying into it. Yeah, and we're taught that this thing, these things aren't possible, therefore. <laughs> and if you don't use Colgate instead of Pennsylvania, <laughs> you're not on the same wavelength. You know. uh, so how can we open the young people? Well, <laughs> the young people are, are cute. They're the, oh, yeah. Well, the greatest threat to our system, which you could equate our system to ego, although ego is good too. There's nothing bad about anything, but it's the way we make it. But if you equate it to ego, um, the younger generation coming up now responds more to love than ever before because they're hungry. They want to know what's going on with this world. It's upside down. And they're getting information pouring in from the universe saying love and happiness and everything and they're getting, getting stuff that doesn't feel right to them. So they rebel. And they, they, uh, I just read a quote yesterday from Thomas Jefferson, my favorite mentor, I love Thomas Jefferson, says <clears throat> um, when the threat of It's a beautiful quote. When the threat of when the threat of can't find it here, happens, it's time then for resistance. In other words, you can go so far and then resistance by nature kicks in. Not not by any force. We will naturally start rebelling. And that's what, what's happening now. People are rebelling in a kind of gentle way, like you know, not, not trying to force anything. That, that, that just feeds their fire. Well, we've them. been living a lie for so long that people, young people now start realize it, it was all a lie. Yeah. And now it's like their consciousness is expanding rapidly, uh, much more than we older people can actually understand. And a, a lot of them are going into that deep breath. To mm -hmm. That's the greatest threat to the ego there is. Uh, yeah, the ego is starting to dissolve. <laughs> Anybody else? Mm -hmm. Well, I want to thank you for thank giving you. me all this time to talk to you. <laughs>